Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to load and use assets in Phaser Editor v4. If you're new to Phaser Editor, you might be wondering how to get your images, sprites, and sounds into your game. Today, I'll walk you through the simple process step by step. By the end of this video, you'll be able to load your own assets and use them in your game. Let's get started. First, we need to add our assets to the correct folder in our Phaser project. Open your project folder, and inside the assets directory, we want to place our images, our sounds, our sprite sheets, or any other assets we want to use for our game. To add in our assets, if you click on your assets folder, Either from the inspector, we can click on browse files, or we can drag and drop files into our inspector here. Or if we right click on our assets folder, we can do add files. And now we can choose the files or our folders we want to add to our project. I'm adding a few assets here, a player, some enemies, my background image, and some audio I like to use for my game. But just adding the files to our project isn't enough. Phaser Editor won't recognize them yet. That's where our asset packs come in. Now let's tell Phaser Editor about these new assets. We do that by updating the asset pack for our project. To open up the asset pack editor, if we go under our assets folder, let's open up our asset pack JSON file. Now to add our new assets, if we click on import file, this will show a list of the available file types. And so for my project, I add in some images. So if I select image, now I can choose one of my images that I want to add to my asset pack file. So I do select. Now my asset pack.json will be updated with my image asset and it'll be loaded into my game. Another way to add assets to your asset pack is if you choose the file from your file inspector, over in the inspector panel that opens up, there'll be this asset pack entry. Here, you can choose how you want to import that asset into your project. In this example, I'm trying to load in a sprite sheet, so instead of choosing image, I would do sprite sheet. And then it'll give us the option of which asset pack we'd like to add that to. We'll see my asset pack JSON has now been dynamically updated to include that new asset. And so you'll want to do this for all the assets you want to add to your project. All right, now if you save your asset pack, now our assets are officially recognized by Phaser Editor. Now that our assets are loaded, we can start using them in our game. Open the scene editor, locate the assets panel, then drag and drop an image or sprite into the scene. And then you can adjust your properties like your position, your scale, and your rotation for your game objects. This makes it super easy to design levels, position objects, and fine tune everything visually. Let's make sure everything works. Click on the run button or start your local dev server, open your game in the browser, and your game should now display the new assets properly. And there we go, our assets are loaded and working perfectly inside Phaser. Let's do a quick recap. To load assets in Phaser Editor v4, you need to add your assets to your project folder, update the asset pack to include the new files, use the assets inside the scene editor, then test your game to confirm everything works. That's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Phaser Editor tips. Let me know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and happy coding!